Hello and welcome to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast YouTube edition. This is your host Mikey Stevenson and today I'm going to be talking to you about Rope Access Level 1 Anchor Systems. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. All right, so today, like I said before, we're going to be talking to you about the Rope Access Level 1 Anchor Systems. All right, we're going to be talking about the basic anchor. We're going to be talking about the load sharing anchor, the Y hangs with both the 8 and the Alpine, as well as bunny ears or the double figure 8. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so next up is the basic anchor. All right, so this is what a basic anchor looks like. It's very simplistic. We have two ropes, we have two knots, two carabiners, and two slings. Um, but keep in mind that these slings could be changed out with bolts or some other form of anchorage. All right, so let's talk about how we come up with this. All right, all right, well, let's get started. So first and foremost, we're going to start out with a coil of rope here. All right, you showed up at a job, your level uh, three contacted you and said, hey, go grab the coil of rope. Well, we start here. Then from there, we're going to flake that rope out, inspect it, and then start rigging it up. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to undo the coil of rope. All right, toss that on the ground. Now, when I'm inspecting this rope, it's very easy. Um, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time doing that. So what I'm going to do, just run my, it through my fingers like this. If you're on the job out, outside or whatever, make sure you have gloves. You just never know what you could encounter here. We don't want to cut our uh, hands from any sharp edges. Now, here I'm going to inspect for nicks, cuts, burns, any of that sort of thing. If you find something, stop and inspect it and then talk to your level three. All right, so I made it to the tail here. I'm gonna untie this knot. Now, for your level one uh, assessment for this, we're just gonna start with the tails. This just makes this exercise that much easier for you to understand. Now, here I'm gonna tie a figure eight on a bite. Um, you can also tie figure nines, so uh, talk to your level three, see what they prefer. If you haven't seen our video on level one knots, I'll link that in the description below. Go check that out after this video. All right, so figure eight on a bite. All right, so I want to make a nice little tail here. Make sure that I have at least a fist of tail. A little bit more doesn't hurt, but if you have too much, um, that adds another hazard to the situation, but we won't be talking about that today. We also want to make sure that we have little loops here. We don't need anything more than what's required to attach to our connectors. So I got the one figure eight on a bite. I'm gonna attach that to the first carabiner. All right, so here's my second figure eight on a bite. Okay, make sure I have that fist of tail, my second knot and attach that to the second carabiner. Now here I have two working ropes. I have two knots two carabiners and in this case I have two slings. These slings could be switched out with bolts on walls or any of that sort of thing. Um, if you have something outside of this, talk to your level three. Next up is the load sharing anchor. All right, so we see that here. We have two ropes going into two carabiners, two slings. So if I apply any tension to this one rope, I'm gonna then equally apply the pressure amongst more gear. So I have the two carabiners and the two slings. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started. Let's uh, talk about how to create this. So I'm gonna take my two figure eights on a bite that I had prior there in the basic anchor system. I'm gonna put them together. I'm gonna put them on one of the two carabiners. Now we understand that we have to have redundancy from start to finish here. So what I wanna do is just attach the second carabiner to these knots. All right, so next up is the Y hang with the eight and Alpine configuration. Okay, so we need to create a Y hang between these two carabiners. And the reason being is for some reason we have work in the dead center. However, these were the only places we could attach the ropes. All right, so we want our ropes to fall in the center of these two carabiners. Now, there are different ways of doing this, but 
<clears throat> for your level one assessment or evaluation, uh, this is something that they will be looking for. So we're still using the two figure eights on a bite, using the tails of the rope. We're gonna take those, attach them to the one carabiner for right now. Okay, so like we said before with the load sharing anchor, obviously one carabiner, one sling is not acceptable. We have to introduce the second one. Now, that's a, sometimes a long ways away. So what we need to do, we can't just attach these this way. So we have to introduce another knot here, okay? So I'm gonna tie the alpine butterfly here. Okay, like I said before, if you haven't checked out our uh, level one rope access knots video, make sure to check that out in the description below. Um, now, we have the alpine butterfly, but it doesn't really look like an uppercase Y. Um, and this rope here is more leaning over to this side and not in the center. So what we need to do is adjust this loop here. In this case, I'm gonna feed rope in from the bottom, all right? I'm just gonna keep taking a little bit of rope. All right, that's probably a decent amount. I'm gonna push this all the way through, okay? Not losing the structure of the Alpine itself, and then drop this down here. Now that looks a little far, that's pretty much where I want it, okay? I'm gonna just pull that tail, just take that slack out, okay? So now that looks pretty good right there. Now. In rope access, we need two of everything. There is only one knot over here and there's two knots here. We got to mirror this system. So I'm going to tie another Alpine butterfly in my second rope. Okay, a little lopsided here right now. So what I want to do is I'm going to just push the opposite side in this one. And all I'm trying to do is just make it look symmetrical. As much as I can. Excellent. Okay. All right, so there we go. We have our Y hang with the figure eights on a bite on one side, the alpine butterflies on the other side. All right, this here is the figure eight with bunny ears or otherwise known as the double figure eight. All right, so here I have both ropes in the middle using the double figure eight. I got two of those here, going up to two carabiners and two slings. So let's show you how this is made. All right, so now I got my rope here. I got a decent amount, depending on how big this span is, I'll need more rope. Um, next, I'm gonna tie my double figure eight. Okay, got my first double figure eight. I'm gonna attach it to the two carabiners now. All right, there we go. Now I need to make a second one. Okay, my second one, and I'm gonna attach that to these carabiners as well. Okay, so there we go. Now that's my bunny ears or double figure eight Y hang. All right, so next we're gonna be talking a little bit about angles here. Now, what we want to understand is this internal angle here. Now, we do not want this internal angle to exceed 120 degrees. All right, that's our critical angle, but our optimal, our best case scenario is 90 degrees, roughly about what this looks like now. Okay, so why do we want to understand angles? Well, ultimately, if we're putting weight here, Okay, we want to understand how much weight we're putting on each of these carabiners. Okay, we want to make sure that our equipment can handle the in anticipated load on the system. So at 90 degrees, okay, say I have 100 kilograms right here, at 90 degrees of internal angle, I will apply approximately 70% on each of these bolts or on each of these carabiners. All right. Now at 120 degrees, move this out a little further.
So here is 120 degrees or roughly about 120 degrees. This is our critical angle. Now that 120 degrees is right here. That's where we're measuring. Now the important thing uh, about this is if I put 100 kilograms of mass here, I'm equally putting 100 kilograms on this carabiner and 100 kilograms on this carabiner. So everything is equal. This is the maximum angle that we want to exceed with a Y hang. All right, well, that's all I have today. Just a little crash course on level one anchor systems. If you have any questions about these while you're rigging them, please talk to your level twos or your level threes that are working alongside you. If you have any questions today or any other day um, and want a little bit more explanation on something, leave those questions in the comments below and I will get back to you. Until next time, see you later. Thank you for tuning into this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I have plenty more of these videos coming your way soon. Until next time.